friends, welcome back to the channel, Basswood Carving. Uh, today we're going to do a fun little project here. Now, actually, I did one of these little Tweeties a while back, um, and my little five-year-old niece just loved it every time she come over and she wanted to play with Tweety. So um, I ended up I ended up giving it to her. So I don't have one to show you till till the end, but uh, you know we'll. Uh, We'll get this one done, and uh, it's a fun little project, and it's definitely cool once you get it all painted up. Um, who don't like little Tweety Bird? Um, so, a couple things different this time. Uh, I'm going to leave a little base on it because his head is so big and heavy, and it, in order to get him to stand up right, I have to uh, make the feet a lot bigger than really they should be. So, this time I'm going to leave him on a base. So we'll carve him on a base, and uh, we'll see if we can't do something decorative with the base to make it look pretty cool. So let's get our knives all stropped up, and uh, let's get ready to knock out this Tweety. I'll probably uh, time lapse a lot of it because it's just going to be me, mostly me sitting here carving away. Um, but I will uh, talk to you about a couple different areas um, when we get close to it, like the neck. The neck's kind of thin, and down here around the feet and the legs, we're going to have to take some, some out. So um, we'll come on and talk to you about that. I did cut this out of a bandsaw with a bandsaw, um, and the size block I used was six and a half height, three and a half width, and an inch and a quarter thick, or inch and three quarters, I'm sorry, inch and three quarters thick. Um, so if you want to uh, cut one of these up, I'll uh, put a pattern up for you, a uh, link in the description, or you can always go to the basswoodcarving.com website, and that's where I list either links to the patterns if they're not my own, or if I didn't get them from, if I got them from somewhere, I'll put a link where you can pick it up. So um, let's get started carving Tweety. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start off with a little bigger knife here, just so we can start knocking some of this out. Um, couple things to remember is his cheeks are going to stick out a little more than the eyes and the head and the beak is going to stick out a little more so um, keep that in mind when you start cutting this off you got to leave the cheeks stand up a little bit and the beak his little beak so um, but we'll talk about that as we get closer to it so let's start taking him down basically we want to round this up a little bit and get started uh, forming the head so like I said, I'll probably just time lapse this and uh, you can just watch me carve it.
Okay, we're going to take off some more of these feet. We don't want his feet to be too big. Um, so we're going to take a little bit more off, a little bit more off the body. Shape the cheeks a little bit more. Um, just round them and put a little detail on the edge of the where they meet the face. Um, and we're getting finished up here. This was a this was a fun little carve when I first did it the first time, and uh, still a fun little carve. I think you'll like, it, especially if you got kids, you know, or if you're an old school uh, cartoon watcher like me. I still enjoy, whoop, still enjoy some of the cartoons. It's just some funny, funny stuff. Um, but I had to take a break on the video when I started filming it because, of course, we got some polar vortex going on around here. And uh, I actually lost power right in the middle of my video power went out and it wasn't wasn't that uh, ice or nothing somebody slid off the road and hit the pole so power was off for about six hours and uh, and by the way if you hear the furnace and the uh, a little heater running back there I apologize if it's creating a distraction but we are in a polar vortex, as they call it, and uh, yeah, it's cold out there. It's really cold. And thankfully, I haven't lost heat, knock on wood. Um, but we're going to get this one wrapped up. And I got some questions to address from people about... You know, where to get basswood, where can I get basswood, what kind of tools you use, and that kind of thing. So, I'm going to do a couple videos on some places to get good basswood, um, and just get basswood, period. And uh, I'll show you a little video on the tools that I have. Um, I'm by no means a big, I don't have a ton of tools, but... I think I have some that are good for beginners to get you started. Not too expensive. Um, I'm just going to take a bunch of this off the back. And, and this is this is the pattern I'm working from right here. And I'll probably, I think I'm going to do a video on where you can find free patterns as well. This was just a free pattern I found. And, uh, you know, for beginners, um, at least I, I still consider myself a beginner for sure, especially when I look at my teacher's work. Um, I've never really been an artist, per se. I never really was much of a drawer. I couldn't, I couldn't say I was a, a drawer, but... Pat, following patterns is is kind of a it's kind of a fun thing because you know you can take a pattern and try to create it like the uh, person that designed the pattern. But the cool thing is is you can start developing your creativity, especially you know when you can't draw, but you can. You can look at something and say, man, I think I'm going to do this or I think I'm going to do that. But patterns are a good way to learn and practice your skills, I think. You know, some people, most experienced carvers, I wouldn't say they look down on patterns. They try to create their own patterns. But, you know, when you're learning, you need some projects. And that's what these, most of them, I try to do, um, is just give you projects to work on to develop your skills. Um, that's the way I look at patterns, is just a way of me giving me something to try to develop my skills. 
hopefully I can develop my creativity and create my own patterns one day or as we go along actually on the stocking Christmas stuff I kind of developed my own patterns but I just used some other clip art and kind of put them together um, but I think for the most part you know learning from a pattern there's nothing nothing wrong with using other people's patterns especially when they're free you know you put them out there for a reason I mean at the carving club we're always trading around patterns and somebody will be carving something and like oh where'd you get that it's just a pattern I found somewhere you'd give it a go and might not look like exactly like the pattern but at least it's a starting point for you to get your skills down and uh, obviously I've got a few cartoon characters I'm wanting to do so obviously I'm not drawing them per se more or less just using some clip art and uh, just trying to develop skills. So that's what we're trying to do right now. At least I am. Just developing my skills. And I did want to address a little email that I got, and uh, somebody said. Uh, <clears throat> once before sent me an email and said you call yourself a teacher a carving teacher and I don't really to be honest with you I don't think I'm a carving teacher I'm just kind of documenting my carvings and my journey for other people to watch and um, you know I thought it was kind of kind of disrespectful that somebody would think that you know, I'm calling myself a carving teacher, but like I said, I've only been carving for just a little over two years now, and I'm still still developing my skills. So and by no means do I call myself a carving teacher. I mean, I'm going to show you what I'm doing along the way. That don't mean it's, you know, right or wrong. You know, everybody kind of develops their own little style. Some people can just chunk out big old pieces of wood and make small minimal cuts and be done. But I know I'm still, like I said, I'm still developing my skills. So I like to take my time. I know I'm, I consider myself a slow carver. I'm really slow, I think. But, you know, I guess I kind of spend a lot of time on looking my piece over and just... going at it so I don't really consider myself a carving teacher not like some of the others on YouTube far from it but you know my thing is too is I, I like to create I like to do things that other people haven't done so I think that's where I try to make my videos a little different. Like I haven't seen a Tweety on here. So I haven't seen nobody carve a Tweety yet. And you might not even want to carve a Tweety and that's fine. But for me... just kind of a challenge to develop my skills <sighs> so no I don't consider myself a teacher I just kind of explain what I'm doing and like I said sometimes it don't maybe not be the way you would do it 
But the one thing I have learned is that a lot of people do things differently when they carve. So, that being said, I just try to have fun and give you guys some things that I'm working on. And just things that I've learned. So, I guess if that's a teacher, I guess I'm somewhat of a teacher, but not. That wasn't the goal of my channel, was to come on here and be a teacher. Really, I kind of want to look back and as I develop my skills and say, man, look how much better my carvings turned out. Um, plus, sometimes it's hard to concentrate on your carving when you're trying to talk and think about things. while you're doing your carving on a video. Oftentimes I'm just sitting in my chair carving away on a block of wood and I put it down and I pick it back up I put it down and I pick it back up. So making the videos you have to kind of concentrate and be be focused on your carving at the same time not try not to have too much dead air I know some people like to listen to people talk I mean I like to I enjoy watching Gene Gene talks about a lot of bunch of things when he's carving, but some pe some people just like to watch somebody carve without talking. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of both. Sometimes I'll tell you about things maybe that's going on in my life or in my carving ventures. And then sometimes I might just do a video with very little tar talking and a lot of chipping. So. That's where I stand on that. everybody's doing good during this cold weather won't be long and we're at the end of February sort of a little more than halfway through I guess so I'll be over soon I want to get outside and do some carving maybe take you guys out to see see my setup outside and my house and show you a couple places that I like to carve that I haven't carved in yet. I have about five acres, a little, a little over five acres and, um, of property. two ponds, two fishing ponds, because I love to fish, and I really enjoy sitting out there carving, I'm going to bring his body down a little bit more, he's just too fat right now, Tweety's. He's a little body with a big head. So he's kind of a caricature when you think about it. A lot of caricatures have little bodies, big heads, or big hands, or big faces.
first one I did, I didn't have a mount on the bottom of it, but I found out that he was a little, little top heavy. He had a little trouble standing, so. This one I'm going to try to make a little bit more. Simple for putting on a shelf or something. There's some little parts on here that you got to be careful with because I haven't got to those yet, like the little skinny legs. I'm trying to work my way down there slow. The little skinny legs are really fragile. You get through that and you'll you'll be good. I'm about to start getting there now. I'm trying to get these feet down so they don't look too big. And I think I still gotta take some more off back here. But Some people, uh, not now I apologize because I did have messages on the Facebook page and I'll be honest with you, I've been focusing a lot on the videos and really haven't spent much time on the Facebook. But I started posting some, some pictures of my carvings, the cowboys I finished. And um, some people were messaging me asking me questions about tools and about wood and things like that patterns and I said wow I better pay more attention to this Facebook thing um, so I apologize if it took me a minute to get back to you but I'm going to try to stay on the Facebook thing seems to be where you make some good contacts is in the Facebook see this is a little area right here it's hard to get into it's tough to get into <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to get in here without hacking my finger and this piece of wood right here it's a good piece of wood but this grain is coming off in chunks. So I'm going to try to get some more of this off of here before I finish the feet. body just a little bit since I have a base for him to stand on make his feet a little smaller and again I can't remember if I did the um, size on it but I started off with a six and a half inch block it was high six and a half inch height three and a half inches wide and an inch and three quarters thick. So I couldn't remember without going back to the videos to see if I had told everybody that. But that's the size. And the pattern, um, it's kind of a copywritten pattern, so I'm not going to post it. But I will put a link in the description where you can find it. And, uh, That way, if you want to carve Tweety, you can use this picture that I used. And there again, I'm going to do something on patterns, where you can find some patterns. Obviously, Pinterest is probably your best bet for patterns. 
but I have a few other resources I've found to get some of these characters. I think I almost got him. Almost got it down to where I want it. Take a little bit more off of the side. reach across there a little more. Oh. Here it is. And I try to use two camera angles, so when I'm editing and then I see that you can't see what I'm doing, I try to switch camera angles. Um, so... This is what we got so far. Now we gotta start separating his little legs right here. We don't have a lot of body to work with. So we're gonna have to be really careful here. Um, so I'm gonna switch to my V tool for a minute. I'm gonna try to clean this out just a little bit. And this is gonna have to do is really critical because like I said, the little legs. Will chip right off on you. <coughs> so I have to think this one through. Alright, so I'm going to take a pencil. And I'm going to draw his little arms in there. And it looks like it comes down. right here and comes back into his body like so and then the other side comes down and out to his body and then up to his little neck And again, it's not going to look perfect. But it'll look good enough. Alright, the other trouble area is going to be right here. This is going to be tough. But we're going to go slow. We're going to use a little detail knife. And we're going to get him. Alright, so I'm going to take and cut me up. Cut me a little stop cut right here. And go right off the edge of his body. And we'll come on this side. And we'll take out a little bit of a sliver out of there. I'm going to cut that back just a little bit so his arm, his little wing, kind of sits back in behind his body. And I left myself plenty of wood to work with.
because I'm still going to roll that over his body into his arm, so. And I'm going to take and take those pencil marks off. Just enough to take that hard edge off of there. into the neck right there and then he's got a little bit of a hand right here so I'm just going to notch that and leave that just like that okay this arm a little I call it I keep calling it an arm it's actually his wing roll that in just a little bit all right same thing on the other side come down from the neck roll in that wing Go on the side of the wing and take the chip out. Set that back a little bit just by taking the wing side down just a little bit. And then up here, just kind of roll that back under the, under the neck, or into the neck actually. saw marks off and like I said if you don't have a band saw you can carve this the first one I did was from a block of wood a square block of wood you just have to remove a lot of wood you know which if you're a new new carver there's nothing wrong with removing a bunch of wood it's fun neck in. I don't want to go too fast and hog out too much right away. And I don't want to break his neck off. There's really not much on the back. We're going to put a little bit of a tail on his back. We're not going to have it sticking out. 
it's going to be up flush against his body. And we'll do that in just a second. We get a little more of this off. We'll probably do that last, so that way we know that we got everything done. And just keep... One thing I can say is that you just want to keep looking around. Keep turning your piece around, look at things. When I was learning, I thought, I wonder if carvers, good carvers, jump around a lot. And when I went to the club and watched some other guys, some really good carvers carve, watched my teacher carve, they jump around. Because your eyes see things and your mind says, better take a little bit more off right there. So you do it while you're thinking about it. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to take off too much on that side. You do it while you're thinking about it. And basically because you're looking around at it. Okay, we're getting there. If I see that, I'm good. All right. And um, I kind of always leave my little spots for last. Just because it's the spot where I'm really critical and take a lot of time. And I want to set his little leg back in a little more. But the view we're looking at here. Is going to be pretty easy to do that. Yeah, he's getting there. Alright, we're almost done with the front. Let's get these feet shaped up properly. These feet are kind of rounded. I want to get all these saw marks off.
rounding off all these hard edges on this back side. Chipping. Okay, take this one down a little bit more. Get the same size. Undercut that a little bit right there so it separates the feet from the base Now in the pattern, he's got a little longer legs than what I got so far, um, but I don't know if I want to mess with that too much more. <coughs> but what I can do is take this down in here a little more to give that illusion. longer legs up a little bit. Get all these 
saw marks off. Back here, we're gonna separate. Let's see, let me get this all shadowed out right here. Time to just drop my knife. <sighs> He's just dropping. I was hoping to finish this up first, but I might have to stop and do that. Alright, so I'm going to separate these feet back here the center and then start rolling this side in to a little V cut and I'm not going to go all the way through and create daylight I'm just going to take it back in there around a little bit then I'll take my V tool and put a little I know there's a shadow on there because we don't have much light today and normally I'll get a little bit of extra light from the window just ain't a lot of sunlight out today okay so see what I did there just separated it probably go off camera and clean clean this up a little bit before I paint it for the sake of not having a two hour video you guys can look at your piece and see where it needs to be cleaned up a little bit rounded off a little bit more Okay, I think we're close on the body. All right, he's got two little toes. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, get this out of here a little bit.
to see that good. All right, let's move to the face. Let's fix his cheek a little bit. Right here, we're going to roll his head back in, and we're going to blend that backside into the cheek. So we're just rolling it. Roll this in a little bit right here. And gradually, you kind of make that cheek blend in right there. See how I did that? All right, round off all your bottoms. Edges, get off any saw marks. Back here, you can kind of blend that into the neck. cheek in a little bit more. <sighs> All right. Okay, so oh, let's see. Let's go back to, I was going to tell you about the feet. Here's what we're going to do with the feet. He's got a couple little round toes there. So we're going to do that. On top. And we'll take our V tool. Actually, let's do it with a knife. Take our knife and we're going to do the same thing we did on the arms. Just make a stop cut along your pencil line. Come in. Take a sliver out. <clears throat> and then kind of round that down in there not too much because you can see I'll show you the drawing in just a second you can see in the drawing that there's not a lot of separation there so we kind of want to roll them in to make them blend together like so not a lot doesn't have to be a lot more spots there
Okay, let's do the other side, same thing. Follow that down your line. Kind of off my line there. That's okay. That wasn't really where I wanted it anyway. You've seen from the first one. Basically just separating those little toes. side roll that toe in a little bit There's the little toes. Tweety, now you'll notice his feet are kind of pointing out towards the front. Um, but that's about the difference I can see in the feet. I don't know how he supports that big head with his feet out in front. Okay, there's the back, there's the front. Okay folks, uh, took a few minutes to clean up and um, this video has been a challenge to get out with everything that's going on. I've had to stop and start quite a few times um, with the cold and the animals and everything. So anyway, I'm trying to wrap this up for you. This is uh, the final, we're gonna put the ears on, we're gonna do the mouth little mouth and then we got a little tail to put back here um, so um, I'm going to try to get this done for you as fast as possible um, so little trick um, here's what I'm going to do to get the eyes on there since I got this on computer I can print this dude off anytime so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off cut off the eyes right here and I'm going to kind of figure out where I want to put them um, that looks like it's going to work out fine so I'm going to cut the top of the head off too I've got this on computer so I can always print it back out and uh, I'm going to because I don't trust my drawing as well I'm going to and you might you might the same so you know this is a little trick you can you can do to get your eyes on there somewhat give me a starting point anyway I can get this tape to stick. Make sure my eyes are on there right. Okay. Probably want to lower them down just a little bit. Actually, let's do this. Let's cut a little more of this out. So I really just need to get the position. And I can take a little piece of this carbon paper here. I guess you call it cheating. Get a position, <clears throat> excuse me, get a position where you want it. Hold it down, I guess. That's not gonna tape down there. And this is just kind of give me an idea. I can go back and 
get it drawn in there a little better. I'm not much of an artist, so this will kind of help me get the eyes in the right spot. And I'm not too worried about the eyelashes and the eyebrows. I'll fit them in there. This is just kind of get me in position. See how it looks before I start carving away on it. Okay. All right, now I can take my pencil and go back in here and kind of dress these up a little bit. It just kind of helps me get it in the right spot. And I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the inside of the eyes in there, so I'm really after just the shape of the outside outline of the eyes. Just to get that part cut in and round it a little bit. Okay. All right, so... Um, Here's the mouth, little beak. All right, and the beak, let's see. I'm gonna put a little tail back here too because I wanna do his little tail. Okay, we can see that. And the eyes. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the eyes all the way down into this cheek right here. So, um, get all this out of the way. I cleaned up a little bit because it was getting a little full of chips. And since I had to take a break anyway, I figured I would clean it up and be a little easier for you to see these final steps. I know this has probably been a long video for you. I think it's going to end up being probably about an hour and a half. Um, but really, I'd rather do videos. I'd rather do my videos all in one since I have decent upload speed now I'd rather do mine all in one that way if you're carving along with this you know you don't have to hunt down um, a bunch of videos and make sure that you haven't you know missed one or whatever um, instead of having parts of a video then I would rather have just one video that you can find and then you can always pause it and if you stop, you can always go back and find the part where you left off. That's kind of the way I like to do it. I know some guys like to put them up in parts. Um, and it's probably really due to their upload speed. I mean, I've just recently got some decent internet. Which is why I haven't started doing carving videos earlier. It's because my internet was so terrible took forever to upload that first shelf elf video I have on there and I didn't have decent internet so you know I'm, like I said I like to put them in one video and then that way uh, you know you could follow along with the carving and I'm going to definitely speed up the beginning part of it because you can shape this you can shape the head and shape the cheeks and I stopped and where it's started talking about when I did all the body and everything the toes and and the cheeks and all that and the arms the wings so you know I only fast forwarded through the parts that really you're gonna be sitting there watching me carve you know if that's what you like to do that's cool but people that are carving along um, probably want to get go to pause it and work on their thing anyway so all right so what i'm going to do with the beak is i'm going to i think i'm going to use my little flex cut detail just because it's this is going to be so easy to chip off that i want to go just a little bit at a time so i'm going to come across here with my little detail 
See, it's already wanting to chip. And this is what happened to me the first time I carved this thing. I ended up having to keep messing with it until it was pretty much almost gone. So I'm just going to mark where I want it. And then I think I'm going to take my little V tool here. And I'm just going to come in here like this and see if I can get this out without chipping it. chipped off a little bit, but that's okay because the bottom of the beak I was going to take and just cut a little tip off the side right there. Oh, that's not bad. Just so the bottom's a little smaller than the top. And then I'm going to shape it back a little bit at the top. So it's going to come in this way. And mostly paint's going to do all the work on this dude. Because <laughs> I don't want to mess with it and chip it all up. But if you try to come out this way with it, you're going to definitely chip it off. So anything you want to do to it, go in from here to the back. I just want to take a little bit right there without chipping it. Okay, leave that at that. All right, next the eyes. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do with the eyes. Just like we always do with the cartoon eyes, we're going to cut a stop cut all the way around the outside. Just follow your line on there to about the middle and stop. Take your piece, turn it around. Go around that curve a little bit. And go back to the bottom and come up to it. together like so and the same thing on the other side up to the middle finish it around a little bit and come back from the bottom up to it. Alright. Now take your knife and just work them little slivers out of there. We're going to paint him in yellow. Just like Tweety anyway, so once we paint the eyes in, it'll really stand out. Trying to keep... <clears throat> Losing my voice. 
Trying to keep it in the camera for you. Okay, now just go back in and clean that up a little bit. Let's use my little flex cut. These, this little flex cut is really nice for little stuff. I use it a lot on my cowboys when I want to do little tiny stuff. It's really a decent little knife. And this one is sharp as hell. Okay, take the pencil marks off. Okay, same thing on the other side. Little sliver off. Don't get it too deep. You don't want him to look too bug eyed. Clean the pencil marks off. You can also round it in just a little bit. So if you want to make that a little deeper. See, I think it needs to be a little bit deeper right here. It's going to chip that way. Clean it off. Some marks off. Take that little hard edge down. Like it. Okay, let's see, let's fix this a little bit right here. Alright, um, let's see, he's got three little, four cut his head off, let's look at his eyes, he's got three little curvy eyelashes. Is this way, one a little longer, and one right there. Same thing, they curve it out. So we're going to go out with one. Sorry to curve in. Okay. 
right? Give us a little something to paint in there. So we'll take this and we'll just put a little V cut right there. Probably hard to see on camera. The last one we won't make as long. Okay. And pencil marks off. Okay. There's the eyes. And up at the top, he's got a little, a little indention right here, which is kind of, I guess, his, his brow. It's a brown line, but I think I'm just going to leave that off of there, and then if anything, I'll paint it on once I get, get them all painted. All right, let's fix the tail. The tail, we want to stick out from the body just a little bit. So, same thing, we're going to take our knife, and we're going to put a stop cut in. stop cut in there I'm going to come back on the outside of the tail and just raise it up a little bit Okay, can you see that? Get them little pencil marks off of there and see what it looks like. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to make it a little deeper. Just so it stands out a little more. At the top. And it'll really show up better, like I said, after it's painted on camera. I know it's hard to see these little details sometimes.
Okay, I'll round him in a little bit. And there's little Tweety. Alright, I think Tweety's all done. We're going to paint him up, and I'll bring you back when we're all done. Painting, and you can see what Tweety turned out like. Alright, be back shortly, guys. Okay, we're back with the painted Tweety. There he is. His little tail back there, his little wings. So I've been experimenting with the um, with the wood burner just to put details and shadows kind of in there for different things. I need to get a smaller tip. I kind of got some fat tips, so I need to get a little smaller tip. But and I left him on the um, on this base. I didn't do anything with the base yet because I kind of have some plans for him. And um, when I get him all done. You know, you can see him on either my Instagram. I do have an Instagram now, and it's Basswood Carving on Instagram. So look me up if you're on Instagram. Everybody says, you should be on Instagram. You should be on Instagram. But I didn't, I've never been on Instagram as far as posting things, so now we are. So I'm going to post my carvings up on there. Of course, you can always find them on the Facebook page too, Basswood Carving Facebook page. Um, just search Basswood Carving. You should find it and there's usually always a link in the uh, description box of the video um, so that's it that's a little Tweety um, he turned out pretty good I think um, you know it's like with any other carving once you once you get it all done you start looking at things and you say man I could have done this I should have done this but I wanted something that's quick you know quick little car for you I mean it wasn't real quick it took me for a couple hours to get it all done um, took me a couple hours to get it all done but uh you know that's what carving's all about i could sit there and spend hours upon hours but uh you know this was uh something that was fun took it from a little flat piece of clip art and if you uh you know if you want to get a pattern for this i'll do you a hint um it is a copyright image so i couldn't use i couldn't give it away but you if you go on google and search tweety you'll probably find this particular image on there um, and I do have an upcoming video on patterns where beginners can find patterns so stay stay tuned look out for that and um, that's going to wrap this one up guys so if you haven't uh, hit please hit like if you like this video and give it a share maybe with your carving clubs and carving friends or just anybody you think might want to get into carving um, but uh, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're getting up there. We're goals to hit thousand subscribers and I think we're up to almost 650 so um, If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and um, We'll uh, see you on the next one